Okay, once you've installed your free certificate, you've got three months validity after which you, if you registered, you will get an automated email to say from SSL for free saying your SSL certificate for such such domain is ex expiring in one week. So if you're looking to install it for the first time, look at my other video, which I'm going to uh, link in the description box. Uh, otherwise, this is how you update once it's expired or about to expire after three months. So you have to do this every three months. So if you've got an email, your certificate, uh, SSL certificate um, is expiring in one week, so you can click on uh, click here to renew certificate. This will take you to the page where you've got sslforfree.com forward slash create question mark domains equal and then www.yourdomain.com and then percent sign 20 and then the same domain without the www no spaces here. So he's uh, what that link is going to look like so you can now pause this video or just rewind and see that it's taking you to www.sslforfree.com forward slash create question mark domains equal www.yourdomain.com and then percent sign 20 and then the same domain without www. Once you're there, you can either do the manual verification, which we've gone over when we installed it initially, so you can revert back to that portion of the video again that I'm going to link, which is the video where you initially install the certificate. Or I wanted to make it easier every three months, I set up uh, automatic FTP uh, verification. Once you've selected that automatic ver verification up there, uh, this will be presented, so type is uh, FTP, your host is your uh, domain name without www. Uh, and then port is 21, and then user will be your cPanel user, and, and then obviously the password. If you've done um, standard installation, you'll leave this directory uh, as blank. You can click on this question mark to show you if it's for some reason, once you click download free SSL certificate there, or for some reason doesn't work, it's probably, it's going to tell you what the problem is, either the password, again, this will be your username for cPanel, and the password will be that same password, and again, if it's not working, it'll tell you, hey, there's a problem with directory, click there on that question mark to get more information as to what you might plug into this field. Once you've clicked on that big green button saying download a free SSL certificate, it'll uh, create a certificate and so certificate successfully generated at the bottom. You can say download all SSL certificate files. They will download into your default download location, which for me is um, downloads. I'm going to open that up just uh, to kind of unzip it because it's a zip file and I'll place it back in there because we're going to need those files outside of the zip. You then want to go into your cPanel so it'll be your domain name.com uh, forward slash cPanel uh, and you'll use username and password that you've just earlier used to verify and it's the same as FTP password normally. And you go down to the section of SSL. SSL TLS. And private key, generate view upload. So we're going to click there. We're going to go into choose file. Remember those uh, files that we just unzipped, so we'll use the private key, upload. We will go back home, down to the SSL again. We're gonna do do the next. We're gonna skip this one and go on to certificates SRT, and then go into again choose a file. We'll be choosing the SRT file. So sorry, CRT file. So it'll be a certificate.crt file. 
upload certificate. The certificate for the domain search site has been saved. We go home again. And one final step, once again, we go into SSL. Manage SSL sites. Uh, you're going to go down and select your site. You'll say autofill by domain. And you will finally say install certificate. You have successfully updated the SSL website certificate. And one final step to check whether that certificate has taken. You can go to the website. And just to make sure, once the website comes up, So once the website comes up, you want to click onto this secure icon and say certificate. This is in uh, Chrome browser, by the way, and it will show you. See, uh, this is still the old certificate. See, this is only three days away. So he hasn't taken or it seems like he hasn't taken. So don't be fooled. Just uh, um, press uh, push control F5. That will give it a full refresh. So control F5 on your keyboard and we're going to go in there secure certificate and look it's changed now it's uh, valid for another three months so I hope you find this useful please subscribe to this channel I don't only have these technical um, updates and uh, little time savers I get with different other ones and I need your help I need to get up to a thousand subscribers please and I'll get more useful videos for you well, thanks again and take care.